Oh, hello there. Welcome to George's Poem Nighttime Stories. Yes, that is the name. Now, on tonight's episode, we'll be looking at The View from Halfway Down. Come on in. Get cosy. Grab a good book. Or something. But not something to distract yourself from this. The weak breeze whispers nothing. The water screams sublime. His feet shift, teeter-totter. Deep breaths, stand back. It's time. Toes untouch the overpass. Soon he's water-bound. Eyes lock shut, peek to see. The view from halfway down. A little wind, a summer sun, a river rich and regal. A flood of fond and dolphins brings a calm that knows no equal. You're flying now. You see things much more clear than from the ground. It's all okay, or it would be. Were you not now halfway down? Thrash to break from gravity. What now could slow the drop? All I'd give for toes to touch the safety back on top. But this is it. The deed is done. Silence drowns the sound. Before I leaped, I should have seen the view from halfway down. I really should have thought about the view from halfway down. I wish I could have known about the view from halfway down. Um, I'm sorry, kids. I really should proofread things before I read them live on air. Why won't they come back? I don't know about you, but I'm upset. It's time for bloody bed. So grab your cuddle, cuddly little pal and, 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 and um, get some rest, fucker. Or don't. Or stay awake with your demons. I don't care. Doesn't affect me. It's late. Bye.